Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to teach you how to download VMware tools for Linux. So maybe some of you have tried. You want drag and drop files from the host, like Windows to Linux and reverse. But uh, because you haven't installed the VMware tools, it's not possible. So maybe you're going to the difficult way, like emailing the file to yourself or copying to a USB pen drive and opening back again in the Windows, but that's not the best way you can do. There is a VMware tools for the Linux in the VMware player, which you can download it. And uh, I teach you how to install and how to use it. Just follow me. So actually the process is very simple, it's very straightforward. All you need to do is, I finished the downloading already, all you need to do is uh, you need to go to the player, go to the manage and install VMware tools. Okay, now you have the VMware Tools application is already in your DVD. Uh, you need to mount it. How you mount it, or you can go to Player, Removable Disks. Here is your DVD. You can get the DVD from host inside your uh, guest, which is Linux. So you will have it here. Otherwise, you can use a mount. So you need to know where is the address, where is the path of this file. And all you need to do is just mount it. You can mount, let's say, your uh, CD, your DVD ROM is uh, DVD ROM 1, and mount it to, let's say, MNT. So the drive will be there. You can see everything there. Let's see what do we have here. So, okay. Here is your CD ROM and here is CD writer. So you can see which one is it, you just mount it, give same direction. I am going to do a step now which you need the result in the almost uh, when the installation finished. This is the one of the steps that many people uh, it caused them to not to be able to install VRM tools. The process is simple, it is uh, just downloading installing so for example i'm going to okay the file is just here this is the tar file which you need to uh, decompress it you can just use the linux application okay you just extract it to anywhere let's say to the desktop Okay, so you have it here now. So this is all you need to do. is a PL file, but you need to run it in the command prompt, and it will install the VRM tools for you. But uh, it happened to me a few times and to many of my friends, and when I was Googling, I see it is a very uh, typical problem. You might get the error of the kernel header because it cannot find the path of kernel header. I'm using Kali, so maybe your distribution be different. But let's run it first. So we go to desktop. I am root, so my desktop will be here. We can direct click it, copy, paste. Okay, so this is your file. How you run it, dot slash, is you're uh, referring him to the current path. And run yourself, and run it. Okay, so any message just pop up, it uh, doesn't matter, is it asking for a pass or is it a yes and no? You just press the enter, it will be fine. Press enter until you get the kernel header error. So. 
we go for enter, 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 enter. So we just follow this. <clears throat> okay, this is what I was talking about. The pass is not a valid pass to blah, 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 kernel headers. Would you like to change it? So you need to say yes, but you need to know what is your kernel pass. So what should you do here? First thing first, you go open a new tab, find what is your header. This is what you need to type. Okay. This is your header. So just you need to copy it. Okay. The next step is you need to install your Linux header. So you just go with this command I put here. So this one, you name dash r is giving you your kernel header. So it's reading it from this command, it's reading the output, and apt-get is uh, for receiving the file, is updating your system, then going for installing the Linux header. I will put this link for you in the description in the YouTube channel. So you just need to run it first, install the header for your Linux, then you are going for next step. Okay, the download and uh, installing the header is finished. So next step, you are going to insert the pass for the VMware to continue installing the VM player. Uh, VM player tools. So now I'm going to find where is my path to my kernel header. So usually it will be inside here. CD <coughs> USR. And CDSRC. So we get LS. So you will see your kernel header is here. So we are going to give this path slash USR slash src slash this we're going to give this to vmware player install process see what's going to happen okay. so it's working fine now so i will give you both command the path of the kernel header and how to install a kernel header in the YouTube description. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day.